Unit 2 The Lantern and the Fan In a Japanese village, there once lived a man who had two sons. When the sons were grown up, each brought home a wife from another village a long distance away. The father was greatly pleased with his two daughter-in-law and for many months they all lived very happily together. A few months later, the two young wives wanted to go home to visit their families and friends. Among the Japanese, the sons and the sons' wives must always obey the father. So, the two wives said, Father-in-law, it has been a long, long time since we have seen our families and friends. May we go to our old homes and visit them? The father-in-law answered, No. After many months, they asked again and again. He answered, No. They asked him once again. The father-in-law thought, They care nothing for me, or they would not wish to leave me. But I have a plan and I will find out soon if they love their father-in-law or not. Then he said to the older of the two wives, You may go if you wish, but you must never come back unless you bring me fire wrapped in paper. To the younger he said, You may go if you wish, but you must never come back unless you bring me wind wrapped in paper. The father-in-law thought, Now I shall find out if they care for me, they will search all over the country till they find paper that can hold fire and wind. The two young wives were so glad to visit their families and friends that for almost a month they forgot all about the gifts that they were to bring for their father-in-law. At last, when it was time to go home, they were greatly troubled about what they must carry with them. And they asked a wise man where to find these strange things. Paper that will hold fire and wind, he cried. There is no such paper in Japan. The two women asked one wise man after another and everyone declared there is no such paper in Japan. The woman feared they would never see their home again. They were so sad that they left their friends and wandered a long distance into the forest. They began to cry. I do not let people cry in my woods. My trees do not grow well in salt water. The poor wives were so sorrowful that they were Hardly a fright. The older one said, 
can we help crying unless i bring my father in law fire wrapped in paper i can never go home and i cried the anger wife can never go home unless i can carry wind wrapped in paper none of the wise men have heard of such things what should we do it is easy enough to wrap fire in paper answered a voice here is a piece of paper now watch the woman watched the strangest thing unfold before their eyes they could not see where the voice was coming from but suddenly a piece of paper appeared on the ground and folded itself into a japanese lantern now put a candle inside said the voice you have paper holding fire what more could you ask for this made the older woman happy but the younger one was still worried surely no one could carry the wind oh dear voice she cried can anyone carry wind in a paper that is much easier than paper that carries fire replied the voice for wind does not burn holes watch they watched eagerly another piece of paper came all by itself and lay on the ground between them there was a picture on it of a tree covered with white blossoms two women stood under the tree gathering the blossoms the two women are yourselves said the voice and the blossoms are the gifts that the father in law will give you when you go home but i cannot go home the younger wailed for i cannot carry wind wrapped in paper here is the paper and there is always plenty of wind why not take them indeed i do not know how the younger woman answered sorrowfully this way of course said the voice some long light twigs flew to the paper it folded itself over under together it opened and closed and it waved itself before the tearful face of the anger woman does not the wind come to your face asked the voice and is it not the fan that has brought it the lantern carries fire wrapped in paper and the fan carries wind wrapped in paper then indeed the two young women were happy and when they came to the home of their father in law he was as glad as they he gave them beautiful gifts of gold and silver and he said no one can ever had such marvels before as the lantern and the fan but in my home there are two more precious things than these 
and they are my two dear daughters.